thank you for watching it's live but when i go live honestly i do what i do unless i'm really talking like right now i'm talking to the camera um but i'm not gonna be paying attention to like the comments until after i get to a spot where i want to pay attention to the comments you know so this brush feels so good now that i didn't use it if, like a couple of times Remember I was like, oh, it's shedding already. It made me mad when I was doing the background um, base coat for this um, in my other video. But now it feels really good. But I barely, I don't really need this one no more, honestly. I need this one that I accidentally, when I was using it yesterday, which I didn't record how I got this far. But this painting is called The Initiation. And... The story for this painting, which you will see when I'm all done with it, because it'll be really clear, but it is the initiation that God sh put me through, showed me, um, but it's the beginning. So this collection is going to be what I just went through in life, but in picture form. Um, so that's why this one's called the initiation. So you got to start the collection off with, okay. What happened first? Which what happened first was the initiation. You didn't even know it was initiation night. Literally. And I have my little robe on, and I really don't want to get nothing on it, but I'm finna paint in it, so we all know what could happen. Um, but it'll be okay. I'm so glad that I finally got a robe now. Because I be show naked. And then somebody knock on the door. I don't be know who. Like, who knocking on the door? I don't even know. I don't even know people for real. But I do be getting a lot of deliveries and stuff like that. So, yeah. I just, oh my God, y'all. Let me tell you. I just fell into the sheen, Um, what's it called? Loop. Um, rabbit hole. There we go. I just fell into the Sheen rabbit hole. I just bought something off of Sheen for the first time. Well, a few things, a couple of things. Um, the price racked up real quick. Um, yeah, I wasn't really, I should have been putting it more on a budget, but I was looking at everything and I really wanted what I liked. So if I liked it, then I got it because I wanted it. And that's how I want to treat myself because when somebody come into my life, I need them to know that's how they got to treat me too. And that's how I'm going to treat other people if they deserve it in my life too. That's why I like people. I don't let people in my life. Like right now, I silently really backed away from everybody and cut everybody off because it was a lot of phony fake stuff going on. And people, I guess, just like think, <laughs> just think that I don't know. But I am clear cognizant. I know everything. I know everything. I even be in denial sometimes about the things that I know, but I know them. But yeah, I can't hang around people who aren't healed because they start getting real jealous and envious like traits about them. And when people start giving me traits like that or like giving me red flags, I let them go. I do not try to keep them around me because this that's not the type of time I'm on. I'm on the type of time like I'm trying to I'm trying to really get my my reputation, my career, my platform like hit the ground running type stuff. I've been doing this for a year and I'm really good at it and I really like it and I know this is my path ever since I was a kid I always knew like I was like gonna be a billionaire I'm gonna be famous and all this kind of stuff I'm an important person I always knew that but people didn't like the fact that I like knew that or at an early age so then they bullied it bullied it out of me a little bit then depression hit and all this kind of stuff but all of that is now history literally I'm gonna make a book about it one day and now, with this artwork, I'm going to show y'all what happened afterwards. Which, first off, like I said, is the initiation. So this, let me tell y'all before, so y'all can have a clear idea of what I'm about to do. So, these are the clouds, obviously. This is the sky, and there's these buildings. It's nighttime, so I'm going to change the sky up a little bit for sure, because like I'm saying, it's nighttime. This is a UFO in the middle, but it's not a UFO that you, you're going to look through and see aliens. It's the rapture um, UFO. So it's really a road. So it's going to be a UFO. 
right? But the, the lights at the bottom are souls that get lifted into the initiation, which this is going to be like the road. This is going to be a road. The black part with the lights on the side, the moon, hold up, the moon. But really, it's a UFO. It's a UFO, but the story within the UFO, okay? That's the important part. There's a story. There's a there's a path. Because people be thinking, oh, alien abductions, all this kind of stuff. You know, the rapture, the aliens going to come get everybody or, like, whatever, God going to come, like, zap people out. Um, people be thinking about it on, like, such a literal term, which I'm going to help them keep thinking that kind of because I'm going to put it in this picture or whatever. But that's not how it looks. What it is is a spiritual journey. It's a spiritual initiation of you are alive. I gave you life. And you better do something with the life that I am providing you with each and every day that you wake up. And you better be grateful for it because your cup is not half empty, it's half full. And for it to become full, you have to work with what you have and you have to keep going and you have to keep having perseverance and determination towards a purpose, which is why you have to find your purpose. So the initiation starts first and then he helps you find your purpose. He, it, she, whatever. God, the universe, you, 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 yes. Ugh, my mouth tastes nasty because I had to take this medicine, right? The first one is so nasty. The second one is a moxicillin, so I learned that that's the bubblegum medicine from when you was a kid that everybody really was sneaking to trying to drink. Like, yeah, I remember that. But it was pink when I was a kid, though, which they just put color in it or whatever. But now I got it as an adult but in the like form of like when it was a kid too. Cause I can't swallow pills like that. Um, no. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna be on here long. I actually gotta go to court today and I'm pretty, and I have a like, I just have the exact feeling like the, the deed didn't even get done probably. So I might have another court date for the same thing to keep like, and I'm just like, oh my God. Y'all literally could have asked him where like it ain't like the motherfuckers don't know but whatever i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna, you want to continue yes see you next month i do not like people playing with me i do not like in life people playing with me and that's exactly why i'm gonna go to law school and i'm gonna be a lawyer because you want to know what i learned a lot about my personal rights about my human rights about my universal rights and my initiation and what it led afterwards, which I'll show y'all in the paintings. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that go on on Earth. Damn, that's a big ass spider. Ew, it like baby sex. See, damn. Mm, mm, mm. Um, damn, it's a stink bug in here. What do they even do? Anyway, anyway, I don't like people playing with me, so that's why I'm gonna go learn everything about the law so when i take somebody to court i already know a lot about the law i already know the basics basically which is before law school basically <laughs> um so when people play with me it's just like you cannot do that you can't do that you want to know why because the law says that you can't so you're not you can do it with whoever else whoever don't know that in their life that people can't do the things that they be doing to them and get away with it legally. If you, if you, people who don't know that, they I just hope that they learn that one day, um, soon. But me, I already learned this. So if anybody be playing with me, uh, let me make you practice. You gonna be my practice. I'm going to be a lawyer. Like I think people think when I talk to them in real life. And I have like these really grand plans for myself. I think they think like they just they they just are naysayers. They're they're doubting. But I'd be so serious. Like when I say I'm gonna be a billionaire, bitch, call me Oprah. But I'm Kiera, and Oprah is Oprah, and we love her. But don't ever play with us. She is a clear representation of like her higher me. She's an Aquarius, a black woman. She's smart, obviously astronomical speaking skills, which means she got a lot of wisdom, which means God really favored her.
Yes. Okay. So, y'all can't see it as good in the camera because I can tell. But, hold on. Let me bring it, just bring it closer for y'all. Oh, I didn't move it. Okay. So, this is the, the light, right? And this is the path of the light. And these are the people with light, right? At the bottom, right? Okay. And then UFO. But it's a story. So, this is going, the background of what the top of the UFO, the moon type stuff, these are mountains, mountains. This is the path that the light takes. This is darkness. So, darkness, you can't get nowhere with darkness. Darkness, no. But the light will come through and show you the path. So, when you find your path and your light, you get to the other side, which is the picture that you will see inside of the, um, the globe, the moon, the top of the UFO. Um, so this is the sky in there. This is the path. These are the mountains. Like I said, yes. Um, so yeah. That's the story. Um, yeah. Uh, I am actually going to get off of here in a minute. I'm not actually going to paint. The rest of it on camera. I will hit y'all back up when I get to the next stage of what I'm doing. Um, but imagine what I just told you. Because I got to charge my phone up, honestly. Even though I can't even take my phone to court anyway, but I got stuff to do after court anyway. And might catch something to do before too. Um, but I need my phone, phone to be charged up because, yeah. Um, so yeah, that, I gotta charge my phone up, I gotta get ready, even though I am really don't gotta get ready, I'm gonna just look like this, I really don't care, it don't matter, I look good no matter what, even if I look nappy-headed, even if I look like dingy, I don't ever look dingy really though, but yeah, I don't care, I'm gonna just go outside and do what I do, and it works out for me, because I have my initiation already, and now... Certain people that I know that got potential, they might be going through their initiation soon, too. Um, not going to lie, though. All of them burned the bridge already. I'm trying to be weird. Or letting people around them make them weird towards me or whatever. Either way, I don't care. I'm moving on with mine. I have lots of videos online, which everybody already seen. Um, so if they ever want to learn anything from me, they can watch my videos. Because the phone... No. Because I got a passport, and guess what I'm going to go do? I'm going to use it per. But the next details that I'm going to do, I'm going to be using my new set of acrylic paint. Look how pretty. Oh, my God. Look how many colors. <laughs> love the amount of reds and the warm colors i love warm colors but this when i was a kid this was my favorite color the blue green teal um crayon at the box that was my favorite one then next was scarlet but out of the crayola markers the orange one always colored in things so smooth and so like perfectly that it became my favorite one um but yeah I'm going I'm to work with these little colors, all 40 of these little colors on this to make it pop more. And that's like basically going to be the thing with the rest of them. The rest of the story, which, hold on, which going to go on these canvases, the rest of these canvases. So it's five. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Um, and me and God are, are, collectively together in unison rebuking anything and anyone that would negative negatively impact my story and my reputation that I have going on um so yeah don't be coming with that bullshit we is rebuking all bullshit and letting people do and think and act how they act and do and think and all that um because 
each and every day, it gets more real for me. It gets more real. This is my life. I'm living. And I need to do everything that makes me happy. And if I don't know what makes me happy, that means I need to go outside and I need to go figure out what's going on outside and find out what makes me happy. Um, but I'm already happy, though, in myself. So that's the first step. You have to be happy within yourself. Happy in the house, happy like when you naked, all that kind of stuff, which I am. So now it's time for me to go outside and connect my happiness with something, you know, more grounding. Which I'm into meditation and yoga and stuff like that and Pilates and all that kind of stuff. But um, I do so more in the house. Even right now, like I'm more into a little bit like dance, but I do it in the house. So what I really could be out there doing is taking cooking classes, taking... Um, I really want to take pole dancing classes because I want to um, turn up my arms. Um, and I think it's sexy, so my husband going to be real happy that I did it, that I learned. Um, what else I want to do? Like I said, travel, use my passport. I really want to go to Bora Bora, but I want to go to Hawaii. That's probably the first place I'm going to go is go to Hawaii. And low-key, I'm thinking about like what co college I'm about to transfer to um, because I don't like snow I don't like winter I like don't I don't like being cold at all um so yeah and honestly I'm tired of the states anyway and people be really like really really weird so yeah Hawaii is U.S. Ter territory and I can get there by ocean like the sea plane everything um, but yeah, I have a lot of stuff like my, 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 um, calendar is kind of booked all the way until December of like certain things that I got to do, like appointments wise, because those are like the most important things, like my dentist appointments, my doctor's appointments. Um, but that's why now I'm not booking stuff for next year because next year I'm trying to be next year i'm trying to be on top of me i'm trying to be on top of me yeah on top of me and i want to ha have fun and i don't want anything to be holding me down or holding me back or nothing like that um so yeah mentally right now there are certain things holding me back but i'm letting go of it i'm slowly but surely letting go of of it by healing certain things in my like psyche that make me feel like I need it or that make me feel like I'm not doing enough or that I'm not good enough and I'm healing it because no um I'm gonna go find my cat too because I let her outside and I told her not to be outside that long and she done wandered off so I gotta go find her even though she gonna come home when she's ready anyway but I gotta get ready and go outside. Oh my god! Wait, it's Wednesday? Yeah, so it's Wednesday. I thought it was Thursday. Hold up. Let me stop. Let me calm down a little bit. On Friday, Halloween Ends comes out. Ooh, I cannot wait to watch this. And Kanye, I can't believe you made Jamie Lee Curtis cry like that. Why you have to do that? You need to be more... You need to stop thinking about... Stop having such a bad God complex. Like, you could deliver your messages and you can start, like, doing stuff in a more productive way because you is acting a little wild and we can tell you hurt but don't be hurting other people we don't want them to hurt us so we don't hurt them Kanye forgot the golden rule which is treat people how you want to be treated because god forbid somebody tell Kanye he ain't a genius somebody tell Kanye He's not talented or something like that. Or tell Kanye that he's doing something wrong. Then he's going to be all mad. And butthurt. <laughs> Gemini's play too much. Ugh. I don't know. As an Aquarius, for me, the, the other two air signs, Libra and Gemini, like... Gemini is too immature for me. They joke too immature. Like the things that they do in life and the things that they think is funny or cute and like stuff like that and like what they find entertaining sometimes. It's too immature for me. I don't like that. And for Libras, Libras, they're not open-minded enough for me. Like 
I cannot, I cannot do, I cannot do granddaddy, grandpan, like grandpans, grandma type stuff. Like, no, y'all. Mm -mm. I like socializing. Libras don't like socializing. Gemini's like socializing, but Gemini's like to conform to the negative aspects of life to get a laugh out of people and to get like comfort out of people. Meanwhile, me and Aquarius, I'm really smart and I'm sophisticated and I like things to be a little bit more mature and make a lot of sense. I don't really like to um, feel hypocritical when I know certain things about life and I do the opposite because then that makes me a hypocrite, especially if I like to speak on it, which I do. So, yeah. Y'all, I had a dream about my, my ex, my one and only ex, Mr. Virgo. Um... Yeah. He gonna tell me that his mama don't like me. This is not his first time in the dream because I only had two dreams about him, right? He only been in my dream twice, which is really wild considering the fact that I, I really like spent a whole bunch of time with him. But anyway, both times he was, the first time he was hiding me from his mama, this, this time he said, of course my mom don't like you, but the other day she asked about you or something like that, right? Um... Yeah, we was getting busy up in my dream. I ain't even gonna lie. That's not that's crazy too because I know I other than once ooh, I did have it was a certain certain guy. That's what I'm saying. The fact that my ex hasn't been in my dreams as much as like in contrary, this other guy, which I don't even know him all the way like that. Um me and the other guy have a lot of dreams together and Hold up. Don't spiritually that mean that they was doing something, thinking about you like that? Hold up. They probably do. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, that means that's why that one guy. Oh. Damn. Damn. That is true. I know something they don't want me to know. But anyway, yeah, me and my ex is gonna get back together. But he was like, he was like, he was scared though. He was scared because of other people's opinions, basically. And that's some Virgo shit. Cause me personally, I do not get no fucks about nobody else's opinion. What Queen Key say? Nigga, where your sister I smack her. <laughs> Nigga, fuck your mama, you bastard. Stop playing with me. Uh, but not for him. I'm not, I don't mean that towards him. Maybe it's a little bit, but not him. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm the type of person that likes to double back though. I don't like double back. I don't do, I don't know about that, but I ain't gonna lie. I know I ain't met no guy, older, younger, anything, nothing like the same age, nothing. I ain't met no guy that can, that can do a lot of the things that I need in a significant other all at once. Like I've never met a guy who can do it except for him. Except for my little Joshi Poo. My little Joshua. Don't make me have to beat up nobody about you. Okay, but anyway. Yeah. I gotta go get Lyrica. Because she's outside. And I think she's in heat. And that means she want to be outside so she can have sex. Even though I didn't get her fixed because I'm not opposed to her reproducting. She can do so. But she's little. She's young. So I don't think she's supposed to. Um, but who am I to, to make a cat stay in the house when a cat's supposed to be outside running around acting crazy anyway? So, yeah. So when my baby come back with a... With some babies, I'm going to be so excited. And I'm not giving none of them away because we going to keep them. Because she, that's her family. And then I'm going to go find whoever the guy is. Whoever the little guy cat is that did it. He going to come too. I don't know where his mama at or whatever. But she going to have to give him up because my, my baby going to have a full family. And we going to move, move into a mansion. And they going to have their own little room too. Not a big room though. Because they can run around. I know y'all came on here probably to see me paint. I ain't paint nothing yet because honestly, I just want it to be a surprise now. Now that I let the idea flow out there, I just want it to be a surprise of how it's going to look. Um, but yeah, this is 
um, the midpoint, basically. I got all of the foundation down, and now it's time to do the pop. Um, so yes, this is the initiation. Subscribe to my channel. Like, leave a comment or something um, so I can know you was here. So yeah, have a great, have a, a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Get some clarity. Get some new wisdom and new, new knowledge. Um, and hopefully level up to a different level. <laughs>